Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at three stocks that have buy ratings from some of Wall Street's top rated analysts. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three stocks that have strong buy ratings, and that includes ratings from some of the highest ranked analysts on tip ranks. We're going to take a look at what these companies do and what analysts are predicting for their stock's future. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. All right, let's dive right into these three strong buy stocks. First on our list today is a company called Allegro Microsystems. Their stock trades under the ticker ALGM and is currently priced at $31.50 per share. Allegro Microsystems is in the semiconductor chip sector. Allegro is a fabulous chip maker specializing in integrated circuits for analog power tech and sensor systems. Their products find their way to the automotive and industrial tool sectors as well as consumer and computer sectors. They are the number one supplier of magnetic sensor IC solutions and a leading supplier of power ICs and photonics. They've developed a track record of applying innovative circuit design, process, and packaging technologies to deliver highly reliable, high-performance solutions that precisely measure motion, speed, position, and current. The company has over 450 active U.S. patents, has shipped over 11 billion sensors, and there's approximately nine Allegro devices in any typical vehicle. Allegro shared their most recent quarterly earnings report at the end of October, where they achieved record quarterly revenue and profitability. They had total net sales of $193.6 million, exceeding expectations due to strength in industrial and other end markets. Their automotive net sales were up 41% year-over-year, and they had record industrial net sales that was up 68% year-over-year. Their earnings per share also exceeded expectations, with their GAAP diluted earnings per share increasing to 17 cents. Weighing in on the stock is the number one rated analyst on tip ranks, that is Quinn Bolton from Needham. He says that as the market leader in magnetic sensors, Allegro's dollar content in automobiles is expected to increase driven by expanding adoption of ADAS and electric vehicles. Allegro also expects to gain share in the automotive and industrial markets with its motor controllers and motor drivers given its ability to provide a full solution set offering. We believe Allegro's exposure to these long-lived, stickier markets gives the company greater revenue stability and visibility into its outlook. Quinn is one of five analysts that have a rating on the Allegro stock, and it does come in as a strong buy with unanimous buy ratings. The average price target comes in at $39.80 per share. That would be an upside potential of over 26% for the next year. And we have a lot of five-star analysts weighing in. Quinn's rating comes in at $40 for an average upside just shy of 26%. He is right in the middle with our low end being around 19% and a high end rating with an upside of 35%. Second on our list today is a company called Smart Global Holdings. Their stock trades under the ticker SGH, currently priced at $56.80 per share. SGH is another semiconductor chip company. They are a holding company with subsidiaries that produce components for original equipment manufacturers, including specialty memory solutions for the computing, networking, communications, storage, and mobile markets. Their products are found in desktop computers, laptops, tablets, and smartphones, and include flash storage, DRAM chips, and solid-state memory chips. They work to deliver the impossible with highly dense data center computing, ruggedized edge and mobile, and IoT systems, and they're also accelerating their adoption of emerging technologies. In their LED solutions segment, they are behind the SoFi Display Ring, which is the biggest display ring in the NFL. This is a 360-degree, two-sided visible ring with 4K Ultra HD resolution. It includes over 94 million pieces of LEDs, creating the NFL's largest screen. In mid-October, SGH shared both their quarterly results for Q4 and full year 2021. They achieved record results with a more diversified business mix. Their fiscal year 2021 revenues were up 34% to $1.5 billion. Their non-GAAP earnings per share came in at $5.22, which was up 102% year-over-year. Looking at the fourth quarter, it came in at $2.16%, which was up 163% to the prior year quarter. 
Weighing in on the SGH stock is the number two ranked analyst on tip ranks, Mark Lipicus from Jefferies. He commented that management noted that Brazil memory is now less than 50% of the overall memory solutions. We expect its IPS segment to grow at about a 20% compound annual growth rate driven by demand for HPC platforms and both the IPS and LED segments to post 30% plus gross margins in the LT. We think diversification away from Brazil will provide upside given that the other businesses will have a longer life cycle and are thus more profitable and the shift makes SGH less dependent on an emerging market. Once again, there are five total analysts with current ratings on the stock. And once again, we have unanimous buys. The average price target for the SGH stock comes in at $74.40 for growth potential of nearly 31%. Mark's rating comes right in the middle at $72 for an upside of 26%. On the high end, we have our most recent rating with a 49% upside and on the low end, a couple price targets right around the 23% growth mark. And third on our list today is a company called Dasky. And I know that it does not look like it's pronounced that way based on how it's spelled, but I promise I Googled and watched videos on how to pronounce this so you guys wouldn't correct me in the comments. The Dasky stock trades under the ticker DSKE, currently priced at $9.55 per share. Dasky is in the trucking industry. They are a logistics company moving goods from place to place to meet the needs of industry and retailers. The company owns a range of assets, including 4,500 tractors and over 11,000 flatbed and specialized trailers, supported by more than 1 million square feet of warehouse space. They are the largest specialized and flatbed carrier and in the top 15 truckload carriers in North America. Their diverse offering of transportation and logistics solutions is to over 6,700 customers, with over 90% of business direct with customer. They have a highly flexible business model divided between company-owned, owner-operated, and third-party logistics portfolio, and their across-market cycles, specialized and flatbed mix allows for a flex-up or flex-down capability by fleet and or end-market vertical, not achievable with standalone pure-play flatbed or specialized strategy. Dasky's third quarter results came out on October 22nd. Their revenue came in at $424.6 million and adjusted earnings per share at $0.43. Cents. Both came in well ahead of analyst expectations. For their first nine months of 2021, the company has already recorded $1.16 billion in revenue. Weighing in on the Dasky stock is the number four ranked analyst on tip ranks, Jason Seidel from Cohen & Co. He says that the company has built a strong pipeline of actionable opportunities and we expect tuck-ins from the company in the near future. Management made a point, however, of stressing that it is being more strict in terms of M&A targets than it has in the past. Accretion, strong cash flows, and end market exposure will be high on their list when looking at new companies to bring into the fold. The Dasky stock does just have three current analyst ratings, but also comes in as a strong buy with unanimous buys. Their average price target comes in at $13.17, which would be a growth potential of nearly 38% for this next year. The high end at $14, which would be growth potential of 45%. On the low end, we have a $12.50 target, which would be growth of nearly 30%. So there we have three strong buy stocks that TipRank's top analysts believe has some pretty attractive upside potential. Of course, I always love hearing from you guys, so let me know your thoughts on these three companies in the comments down below. Were they on your radar already, and which catches your eye as the best growth potential? Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes. Make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.